Guy here with a new mod test for Tuesday, November the 15th, and this is the new Holland CR 9.90. This is by STV Modding, 21.57 megabytes to download. It is 14 slots on console. It is a new harvester, obviously. And so, let's have a quick look at it. Well, have a look at it in the store under harvesters. There it is. $372,000 to purchase 571 horsepower, variable rate transmission, 13, uh, 1,300 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour, not too bad. And uh, either 10,200 10, or 11,500 liters of hopper capacity, 22.3 tons. Yes, it is a harvester. Configuration, we have the standard or extension so the extension is actually the hopper capacity so 10,200 or 11,500 that is your choices extra $200 for that wheel brands Trailberg Michelin Midas or Trailberg so those three in Trailberg you have the crawler track or you have two types of wheels standard or wide Michelin the same choices there. Midas, just the wide tire as a choice, and back to Trelleborg with those. So extra $2,400 for the wide tires, actually more money than the crawler track is actually $0. So interesting there. Design, we have standard, we have uh, standard, and then design, which blacks out the uh, well, just changes up the, the, the deckling, really. And then design one adds a different deckling choice. And then design two has that tiger deckel on there and then back to standard. So to $400 if you want to go all out. Pipe, you have the standard pipe or you have a long pipe, which is kind of odd because it's not actually longer but is different it has an adjustable tip on it and it does look why it's actually looks shorter uh, but it does look kind of wider we're going to test that uh, main color main color is the seat color actually so we have the blue the gray dark blue or a gold or tan color that's your seats design color black or yellow that's as far as I can tell is just that little piece below the cab see it change in color thousand dollars for that so that's a bit odd to thousand dollars to paint that little piece yellow mmm uh, rim color we have gray special which looks kind of like a metallic silver silver and black and then a license plate right so I have the standard one and I have one here that's kind of decked out a little bit has the yellow bull decal on there and uh, let's hop in uh, let's hop into the one that I've modified because L1 fold harvester or I can't fold because I have wheat in there uh, turn it on disable straw strath pipe out now L1 and right stick left and right I have the extended pipe on here, left and right. You can adjust the tip of the pipe there by turning left and right. And that's it. Oh, there is one more. Let's go in cab for those of you who like to see what it looks like in cab. Like so. And then we have uh, R1 and L1 and R1 and right stick. You can open and close that driver's door. There you go, and that's it for options for that. Now let's go up here and um, let's go into the standard one first. Let's pipe out and see how fast. Now this is 10,200 liters. We'll see how fast that empties. Pretty nice, fairly standard I would say. right okay so you can see it's running I'm not gonna time it but uh, let's go into this one 
and see if there's any real difference to the unload speed maybe a tad quicker uh, and then we of course we can adjust that tip unloading there not I would say well it, it's close it might be a tad quicker even though there was more grain in there it seems to be unloading a little bit faster for sure faster because by the time I finish yapping here it's empty so it it appears that it's a bit of a wider pipe and unloads a little bit faster right so uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, these fellows and I'm going to throw them out in the field and give them a little bit of a test. So we'll be right back after I get that set up and run them a bit. So I'll give you uh, a report on that uh, when we come back. Well, we're back and we've had uh, both of these fellas working, uh, one in the sorghum field here. And... As you can see, he has successfully filled his hopper. Let's just, uh, oh, let's unhire him and uh, back up here a little bit and we'll show you the animation. We'll unload him and this little fella here also has filled his hopper. And of course, no issues. I rarely have any, if any, ever have issues with harvesters for some reason. Uh, they seem to be absolutely non-problematic in every way um, from what uh, what I've been able to uh, figure. So let's turn this on and go forward here. I have uh, spreading on, so you can see quite a nice wide spread width of um, straw and let's turn on the straw swath dropping and like so that's what it looks like very nice uh, I have the base game 28 foot header on here so of course it'll work with nearly any header um, it's pretty powerful enough uh, so no worries there. Let's start this guy up and uh, we'll sh just show you the animation for sorghum here. Of course you can uh, attach a corn header to it if you wish. And there's the, uh, it. Uh, there's no uh, swath dropping for sorghum. And there it is, very nice. Um, yeah and as i said there's no um no other um things you can do with it you, you can't open the sides or anything it's just quite simply a very nice uh, example of the uh, new holland and that is everyone the new holland cr 9.9 Oh, by STV modding 21.57 megabytes to download and 14 slots on console. Thank you for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.